can I get two classic bagel belts? Oh, what kind of bagel? Everything. Just the same damn thing. What's your high? What's your age? What's the price of your way? And every year we're expected to show all the things that we were able to grow. When you're making half the money, but the cost is double. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another bookish video. I am currently at the cottage. We just got here and have kind of settled in. The first day at the cottage is always hectic and all over the place, but I'm gonna be filming a few realistic days in my life of how much I read on a trip slash at the cottage during the summer. My goal is to read three books. I'm currently almost done People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, and then I brought four other books with me. So I'm gonna see how much I can read, especially as a slow reader. I feel like most of booktube and book talk read like upwards of 60 pages an hour and I'm someone that reads like 40 to 50 so definitely a pretty slow reader as well as a distracted reader especially with my family around and stuff so I thought it would be fun to show you guys how much I read it's literally two three and a half days like today's Sunday and we leave Wednesday kind of mid-morning so I have today all of Monday all of Tuesday and then a bit of Wednesday and the drive home on Wednesday mind you it is almost already like five o'clock I think it's like 5 30 and I still have like 90 pages left of this to read I feel like I'll probably end up finishing this today and starting my next book tomorrow we'll see what happens I do think the rest of the day is going to be a little bit chaotic just with unpacking prepping the cottage cleaning whenever we get here it's always a little bit of a ramble just to get everything done so we can relax for the rest of the time that we're here but I hope you guys enjoy but like I said we'll see if I actually do end up getting to read a little bit today I'm currently dressed in a bathing suit ready for the beach but if you haven't met my puppy Pluto he's like wants to just run around everywhere so I feel like I'm going to be on puppy duty for a little bit but I'm excited to take you guys with me on the next few days of reading let's get into it Quiet life of desperation But it ain't gonna make me too hard Go! Go, go, go! Doing the water eating like I'm Yeah. Quiet life of Good boy! Yeah! Oh. Are you gonna, are you gonna shake right near me? Yeah. Trying to figure out the man who gotta figure it out I just buy me a new condo And in the same year I move back home Twenties ain't as friendly as a place where you were born And anytime you reach for something They claim that you need nothing To satisfy your soul But all the good stuff's bought and sold Quiet life of desperation But it ain't gonna make me too much longer I finished People We Meet on vacation on the drive down to the cottage I loved this book this might just be a six star read for me. It was so cute and so good. But my first official read at the cottage is going to be Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I'm excited to start this. The day's kind of been on and off pouring rain. And also since we just got here, we've been kind of unpacking and getting the cottage ready. We're only here for about two and a half days, but we're starting with this little light romance and it's sunny out right now. So I think I'm gonna go sit down at the dock on the lake and read for a little bit. I would love to finish this book in one day so I can read at least kind of like two and a half books, two to three books is ideal, but this is what we're starting with. I think it's literally an ideal cottage read, and if it starts raining again, then I'll just like get to read inside and it'll be cozy and cute, but let's go down to the dock and read. Alright, it's currently, we're starting this off, it's 4.20 on the Monday with Meet Me at the Lake, I think I'll be able to read for maybe like a solid hour to an hour and a half before I have to go tend to Pluto, but we'll see how much I get read. Too much longer. Then working too hard for this. 
I have not read a Canadian author or like a Ontario based book in a long time and I'm reading this going like oh my goodness Guelph and Toronto obviously where I live and Muskoka and like just like places that are so used to me because I feel like anytime I'm reading a romance book it's like New York or LA or Chicago or other major cities in the states so it's kind of nice for a change to read a book based in places that I'm really familiar with and kind of comforting so it's cute so far I'm only like 20 pages in but already really liking the writing style I've never read any Carly Fortoon and liking it so far I feel like it's very easy to read like I'm blasting through it I think I've only been reading for like maybe 15 minutes the pages are definitely very small seeing as the paperback copy itself is tiny but so far so good Second to last morning at the cottage. Everybody else is like still like slowly waking up. I'm about to make coffee. Um, we bought this Kinton coffee yesterday at the grocery store and I wanted to try it out because my parents just brought out this little Tim Hortons bag but we used almost half of it yesterday. So we're gonna try out this one this morning. It is a medium roast blend. Pluto is hunting toads down on the lead, so I'm gonna sit outside and read for a little bit. We have our morning coffee, the chair. I think I'm only at page like 50. I ended up not reading a bunch yesterday, but I feel like I read for like an hour and read 50 pages, which for me is pretty fast. So definitely getting through this book quickly because I'm a pretty slow reader. Currently about 9.45. I'm gonna see if I can read for half an hour and read 30 pages. I feel like that's an overestimation, but that's what we're gonna go for. Guys, you know how I finished People We Meet on Vacation yesterday? I finished reading it. I walk outside. Guess who's reading it? My mom. I've got a bowl of cherries to match my little cherry t-shirt, little afternoon snack while I read on the dock. Because I've already been in the lake once today and I don't think I'm gonna go back in. Just because it's a little chilly for me, but. such a cutie said marshmallow no not for you It is my last 
next morning here. It's currently around 7.30 and it's just me and Pluto up this morning. You can probably hear him chomping on his bone in the background. I am determined to finish this book today. I have 50 pages left and we're also heading home at around like 12.31ish. So that means that I have five hours to finish this book and then get a decent way through my next book, which I'm trying to decide if I want to start Caraval or Light Lark next but I am definitely spending the next hour reading the last 50 pages of this book. So far, I have loved it. Like I was saying earlier, I think just the fact that there's so many places that I'm like, I know this, I've been here. Like I literally live down the street from this and it's so recognizable, is really cute and I do really, really like that. I think the biggest thing that was hard and is still hard for me to get over is the fact that she's hung up on this guy that she literally hung out with for a day. Like I just think that that whole concept is very, very unrealistic and especially the fact that it's 10 years later. So I, I just can't really get over that because like both of them are like, oh, I remember everything. And it's like it was a single day 10 years ago and I get that some things can be that monumental in your life, but also I find it hard to believe just a little bit but i do really like the writing style there is a slight very subtle almost cheating trope that i'm not in love with but other than that i do love the premise and i really like carly fortune's writing style i think it's really cute i also think the fact that i read this back to back from people we meet on vacation like they're both like time skip time jump chapter to chapter books so they're like very similarly written because it's like a current chapter and then a flashback chapter so i did kind of like that but at the same time it almost felt like i'm still reading the same book because characters are in a way like kind of similar the guy is really really tall and the girl is really short they have some similar personality traits but gonna finish this book i did really like it i feel like i'm giving it so far like a 3.75 maybe a four stars just because i couldn't quite get over the concept of that one day being hung up on that but it is freezing out this morning hence the literal like giant mismatched sweatsuit i have a pot of coffee going so we'll see if i can get the rest of this book read before anyone else wakes up this morning just finished meet me at the lake i'm gonna have to do a like full i think i'll end up doing an august wrap up and go through it in depth but did really like it i think four out of five stars currently for me i might need to sit on that a little bit more but did think it was really cute a little bit of spiciness but overall i still couldn't really get past the fact that like they were both hung up on each other over one day but i'm moving on to my first Kind of fantasy of the trip which is caraval we're literally leaving in like 45 minutes but i'm gonna see if i can get the first few chapters read and then obviously i'm gonna read a bit more in the car i'm excited to read this because this has been on my tbr for forever so and i've heard very good things about stephanie garber's writing i'm excited to get into it so let's start it mm -hmm. 